Hello and welcome to our fidget spinner tutorial. Today I will be making a unicorn fidget spinner out of Play-Doh. So, what you need to do first is pick any fidget spinner you like and print it out. I chose this red classic fidget spinner and also chose a medium size. You can make it as big as you like by varying the printout size on your computer. I want to make the main shape of the fidget spinner bright green, so I picked this color Play-Doh. But you can pick any color you like for your fidget spinner. So let's get started! Here are my printouts where I place two fidget spinners next to each other, as I need the other round shapes for the size of the unicorn heads, but I'll get back to that later on. Ok, let's get the green play-doh out of the pot and spread it out all on the table. This unicorn has lovely rainbow colours which I will be using for the hair and the horseshoe later on. Alright, let's spread out the green play-doh some more. Ok, so this is the size you'll need, and this is the thickness. So now you place your cutout fidget spinner onto the flat mass of Play-Doh, like that. And then you can cut out the shape, but leave a little gap so you're not so close to the fidget spinner. Remove the leftover Play-Doh and there you have the main shape ready to be decorated. Just tap on the sides a bit so it's nice and smooth. Next you need to cut out the round corner pieces so you can relate to the size of the unicorn head. Just so you approximately know how big you'll be making the head. Then you'll need white play-doh for the unicorn, unless you want to make it another colour. It's up to you really which colour you want to use. Let's get the white play-doh out of the pot. Now you only need a little bit of white play-doh, just enough to make a small ball. Once you've made a ball, you can compare it with your cutout. Then you flatten the ball and cut out a horse head shape, like this, when you're done. Tidy up the head so it's not so edgy. Cut out the neck so it's more square than rectangular. Ok, so here's one of the heads. Next remove the paper fidget spinner so the head can be placed onto the green shape. Even out the corners and place the head on one of the corners. Repeat this two more times so you have three unicorn heads for your fidget spinner.
When you're done, it looks like this. Press the jawline into the Play-Doh with your fingernail or a knife. Now onto the blue Play-Doh for the actual unicorn horns. So get yourself a small piece. It's all about taking small pieces of Play-Doh as the shapes are really small. Twist the clay between your fingers and make a horn shape. Then cut off the end with the Play-Doh scissors. And place the horn on the unicorn's head. Repeat this two more times. Right, so this is what the unicorn heads look like with horns on. Now if you look at this beautiful Schleiss unicorn's mane, it has beautiful rainbow colours which I will be using for my unicorns. So let's start with the pink glittery Play-Doh. Get out a small piece of pink glittery Play-Doh and roll it between your fingers to form a small hair streak. When you're done, place it on top of the unicorn's head and repeat this for all three unicorn heads. Leave room for the other colours to come. One of each colour should do to give the unicorn heads a rainbow coloured mane. Next is the colour orange. And you do the same. Roll them between your fingers to form a hair streak and place it onto the unicorn's head with a fidget spinner for all three heads. There you go, starting to look nice and colourful. Next we want to use the yellow glitter play-doh for sparkly yellow hair streaks. So let's open the pot and get out the tiny piece. Roll and place it onto the unicorn's head. Nice! Repeat two more times until all three unicorn heads have yellow glittery streaks. Then we do the same with the green glitter play-doh. Take a small piece, roll and place the streak anywhere on the three unicorn heads.
it's looking good so far. Next we use the blue glittery clay for the next set of streaks. You can make them as long as you like. I chose a medium length. Our next colour is the last one we'll be using. It's the beautiful purple glittery play-doh. Same procedure kids. Roll it, place it, love it! So we're done with the hair now. Look how beautiful! What lovely rainbow coloured mane! Now we're on to the red play dough and we'll be making a heart which will go in the middle of the fidget spinner. So roll a ball and then compare it to your cutout circle. Press down the play dough to make the ball flat and cut it out the same size as the circle. It should be this thick. Remove the paper and lay it onto the table. Then use a knife and cut out a triangle at the top of the heart so you get a heart shape. Then push and pack the edges so it's nice and round. Also cut the sides to make the bottom a little bit thinner. Repeat until you get a nice heart shape. When you're done, place the red Play-Doh heart in the middle of your fidget spinner. Wow, look at that! The fidget spinner is starting to look really good now, so what do we do next? I want to decorate my heart with these gorgeous shiny gemstones to make a horseshoe like on my Schleich unicorn. These are so beautiful! So let's pick some nice colours so we get the colours of the rainbow. Gorgeous yellow gem. Place it onto the heart. Then we have a beautiful red stone. Start forming a semicircle. Next we pick a green stone. Ooh, lovely! Then a blue stone. And lastly, a fuchsia coloured gem. Right, so here's the wonderful horseshoe made out of gemstones. Looks really similar to the unicorn's horseshoe. Next, we're going to use these long gems to decorate the unicorn horns. So they'll be nice and sparkly. Simply place them on top of the blue play-doh horns. Nice blue gemstones. Done! Look at the beautiful unicorn fidget spinner! Almost all done! Now we need to give the unicorn some eyes. 
We need black play-doh for that. Just use a really tiny piece of black play-doh. Just enough to form a small eyeball. You can roll them between your fingers and then place them on top of the unicorn's head. Put an eye on each unicorn. Once you're done, you will need white play-doh again for the unicorn's pupils. You will need even smaller pieces of play-doh now, just a hint of white. Place them onto the black eyes. Press down a little with your fingers. And voila! All finished! A lovely unicorn fidget spinner, all made out of Play-Doh! Now if you leave it to dry, once it gets hard, you can use it to actually spin it in your hand. But if you just feel like creating something beautiful, why not just make something like this out of Play-Doh for the fun factor? I hope you enjoyed this video, if so, leave us a thumbs up and we'll be making a Minecraft fidget spinner next! Well thank you for watching! If you want to watch more fun videos for kids, then click on one of the videos on the left. Press the subscribe button on the right and you're never gonna miss a video from us again. Thank you!